Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today marks the potential return from one of the most highly anticipated team of the season SBCs that we get every single year in FIFA, and that is the guaranteed TOTS upgrades packs. I think today we'll be seeing the first of two upgrade packs coming to us as a part of this week's content. We'll take a look at that today, why I think that is, and how much those SBCs, as they drop in the next couple of days, may cost. If we look at an Air Divisi Tots Guaranteed and a Community Tots Guaranteed SBC, hopefully both upcoming. So we'll take a look at that, how that could impact the market and how this market is doing right now as yesterday's content was a little bit quieter than what we expected. We didn't have that big player SBC that we were really looking for yet. So that's still out there and it's impending and we had the first team of the season leak that we think is a part of Premier League Tots. So we have to take a look at that as well because we might have more Premier League Tots leaks coming soon. So if this video helps you out today, if you're excited for the content today on FIFA, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Let's look back at yesterday as we normally do a little content overview. We got the player picks that we knew were coming, the 81 plus player pick. And I'm going to be honest, right? It's fine value, right? Five rares, 11 golds. What else do we expect? 10 golds versus 11 golds this time to last time. Like, you know, it's really not that big of a difference. Seven to 8,000 coins to do this. Technically, if you look at it that way, you need an 85 rated card every single time to break even because 85s right now are kind of down in price and they're down below 9,000 coins. So this SBC being about 8K, it's a little bit less than 8K to do. So about 7,000 coins to do. You look at the price of 85s and you're like, hmm, I need an 84, 85 just about every player pick to break even, which is not normal happening but it's a great way to pack team of the season you can tell my tots counter is going up a lot right yesterday we started the stream with five team of the seasons now we're on 11 i did get very lucky in my 85 times five the other upgrade pack that was dropped yesterday but those 81 pluses are prime for packing blues and gold cards are up of course 700 750 coins for non-rares rares are going to start going up as well as the non-rares keep going higher guys i think by the time we get to friday morning before premier league team of the season drops if you've invested in these non-rares or rares waiting for friday i think these cards are going to be selling for 900 and 950 coins on friday morning because people are going to be stacking these 81 plus player picks for premier league team of the season this friday so watch out for that if you have invested in those cards uh you know maybe lazy list at a thousand coins try to get some lazy sales i think they're going to get close to 1k by the time we get to friday morning that's just kind of my thoughts there now the other spc we had was the 85 times five and i did that spc yesterday and i got kind of lucky the value here is not great right it's not great at all 68 69,000 coins for an 85 times five upgrade pack is not that great but if we're being honest it is a decent upgrade pack that we can do we can craft with the 81 plus player picks and for that matter it is kind of fun to do. So it's got a very high downvote percentage, but it is not the best of value. Uh, we're going to be able to do it every single day. I know a lot of people are doing it just because it's a gamble fodder pack. Uh, obviously, I opened mine. I got a lot of stuff from it. I'm not expecting to get a really good one every single day. But uh, that is uh, one of the upgrades that we had yesterday. And of course, that is an upgrade pack that a lot of people are doing to get some higher rated fodder and just to get a chance at a higher rated team of the season card. But if you take a look at fodder prices, they did jump up yesterday. And I want to take a look at that, right? I want to take a look at fodder because we had a lot of demand on that 83 and 85 squad that was inside of that 85 times 5. 84s are slowly rising. They were up to about 3, I think 3.5K is how, they, how high they were. Yeah, 3.5K on Sancho. They're back down a little bit. Look at 85s though. 85s yesterday spiked just for a quick second uh but then they've just kept going down since then and it's crazy because i think really a lot of the 85s demand was um inside of that 90 or whatever it was yeah the 90 plus icon pack so there was an 85 rated requirement in there and an 85 rated squad so i think with that being gone over the past couple of days we've seen 85s go from like 12,000 coins down to 9k or below 9k where they are right now which is very low but the rest of the fodder market 86s are at 11 87s are 14k we know it is down horrendous because i really think it's a lot of weekend league supply that's happening still right now and a lot of packs that are in the store right 
I've got a card here and uh, and a player pick him on a sign. Let's open this and see what we get. But um, yeah, see, 84, decent, right? That's that's decent. But we've got a lot of cards or a lot of packs rather in the store right now that I think people are opening because it's team of the season. People are opening packs, the store packs that are tradable. Uh, we've got weekly rewards coming out every single day. Every every time you go in the store here, you got a tradable second half rare players pack. Uh, you've got I don't know if they did lightning rounds yesterday. I didn't quite see that, but you have multiple packs in the store every day that people can open, and there's tots hype around this game. So I think that supply is what is kind of bringing that fodder down. And there's SBCs to do, but there's not like that many insane SBCs to do at the same time. So that's why I think your fodder prices are moving the way that they are. Now, I will say this. Today on this game, with the potential SBCs upcoming, we're going to be looking at fodder a little bit later in this video today. But we did not see, like we were hoping, the Allen St. Maximin or the Mitomo or any of those other leaked player species that we have. We did not get that yesterday. So we go another day, hopefully, crossing our fingers that we will see one of those big time SBCs. It also has to be said that maybe an Allen St. Maximin SBC is going to be a part of Premier League Tots. Maybe it's kind of like the Araujo that we had last Friday coming this Friday for Prem Tots. And that was just a very early leak. That could be a part of the scenario as well. We just don't know yet. So we still kind of look out for a St. Max or a Matoma or a Bijlo, right? Those are all some of the players that we have leaked right now still that are impending leaks. But speaking of leaks, we do have a couple more players to look at. And that is, of course, our first Premier League Tots League. Ali Watkins is coming as an SBC or objective during team of the season. Stats are a prediction. Now, the reason why this is like a Premier League team of the season leak is because he was in the Prem Tots vote. Yes, he was in the vote in the attackers list. And uh, that means to me, he is getting a Tots card. I think this is an objective. If I had to guess, this to me feels like an objective type of card that they would put in the game. He's three-star skills, four-star weak foot on a base item. Hopefully, he would get a five-star skill boost. That would make this card pretty fun. But the thing right away that I see when I look at this is we just had Tammy Abraham. I know Tammy Abraham is not Premier League, but Tammy Abraham's card is very good. It is live. He got a bunch of traits they added to the card. He's four-star, four-star. Probably what Ali Watkins is most likely going to be, four-star, four-star. So if you already have a Tammy Abraham, would you really need to go and do this Watkins card that wouldn't be that different, right? That's the thing where I'm at because I have Tammy. Maybe if you don't, then it's a card that interests you. That is the first leak that I think is from Premier League Tots, though, because he was a part of the vote. So that's kind of what's going on there with Watkins. Now, if we move up, we have another leak. Chukweze is added to come as an SBC slash objective during Tots as well. And this one's like a head scratcher because you're like, What's going on here? This is not Premier League related. What is going on with this SBC slash objective? Now, if I had to take a stab at what this might be, I actually think that this might be a part of the swaps program for XP. Because if you take a look at here, and we saw this on the webpage that EA released as well, they said additional XP can also be earned each week from a Silver Star, the Tots Cup, and an eFigs Tots player objective. We do not know who that eFigs Tots player objective is right now. To my knowledge, I think this Chukweze might be dropping in the next couple of days, maybe today in this game, and that could be our eFigs Tots player objective. You might be like, Nate, we already have Jolinton and Honko, but these, as you see, are noted as Community Tots and Air Divisie Tots player objectives. While they do have XP inside of them, uh, maybe this Jolinton is part of that, but I really feel like this is something different, guys. I feel like we might be getting a Chukweze today. If he's not an SBC, he could be that eFigs Tots player objective because he is from uh, Villarreal, which is La Liga, of course, and... That is EFIGS, right? That is uh, Spain. So from the Spanish League, that's what EFIGS stands for, the top five major leagues in the world of football. So I think that might be a part of content today. Who knows? That's a question mark that I have. But that's the only kind of explanation that I can come up right now for a Chukwese. I mean, just one more look at this card. This would be a cracked super sub. I'm assuming he would have close to 99 pace and 97 dribbling like these predicted stats do show. So, boom. There's that for Chukwese. But that's kind of interesting uh, that we had that leak yesterday. And I was kind of like, hmm, where is that going to fit into the content this week? But that might be the case. We'll have to see. So, a lot of kind of like guessing right now. A lot of unknown with where these guys are going to drop, when these players are going to drop with all the leaks that we have but that's kind of how it always is and i'll again remind you guys of this we got to take the leaks with a pinch of salt i know we can project and predict and all this stuff but at the end of the day 
we can never 100% know uh, because it's just EA and they do things sometimes very, very randomly. Now, we're projecting a little bit again today with what we think the content's going to be, but EA has been pretty on schedule these last couple of years with Tuesdays being the day where we start to get the guaranteed team of the season packs. And guys, this has been a staple of FIFA for like years. I remember back in FIFA 18, FIFA 19, guaranteed upgrade packs for the team of the season cards. There were in packs at the time. We only have one pack added to the code though. If you take a look at the pack code, as far as I know, we only have an Eredivisie Tots player pack that has been added. Contains one Eredivisie Tots player. We've already had this pack. It is the cup reward. So some of you guys have already opened this and you kind of know how the weight is. We're probably going to see a pretty similar weight if they drop an SBC. We don't have a community Tots pack added to the code yet. Yet, As far as I can tell, I've looked through all the pack code, haven't seen one added. So um, maybe that'll be a new code update that'll be coming today. Watch out for that. But I feel like if they were going to drop an SBC, they would drop the Air Divisi SBC first. And we take a look to last year during Air Divisi and Community Tots. The Air Divisi Tots guaranteed SBC was dropped on a Tuesday, and it required only, as you can see here, an 84 rated squad. And back in the days when we had chemistry, there was 65 chemistry as well. But it was an 84 rated squad. Now, as I take a look at the Air Divisi team this year, I say, wow, this team is very cheap. There are only two cards that are above 100,000 coins in value. One is 115K, one is 700,000 coins. And if any of you guys have completed the cup, you know that that Air Divisi Tots pack at the end has very bad weight. A lot of Veermans, a lot of Kochus, maybe a Kudus. I know a couple people that have got a Gear Truda or a Bergwine, but very few Tadic and very few Javi Simons. That's probably how the weight on this SBC is going to be when it does drop. Now, last year, 84 rated squad. What could it be this year? Probably around the same. An 84 rated squad is not that expensive. And also, the, the reason why EA would do this and dropping a really cheap TOTS upgrade pack right away is they want to put a TOTS card in your club so that down the line, maybe during Premier League TOTS, all these leagues to come, you can have a TOTS card in your club because they will start requiring them in more SBCs. We've already seen them require team of the season or a team of the week card, but I really feel like today, if they drop this SBC, which I feel like they're going to, Today would be a day where they would drop a very cheap Eredivisie Tots, 83 or 84. I could see them doing an 83 squad requirement with 285s. They've been doing that a lot lately. And if you want to gamble a bit on 85s, they are they are very low. Under 9,000 coins, 8,500 if you can get them there on bid. Like, that would be crazy. You know, if there is that 85 rated uh, player requirement, they could go up a lot. Since 84s are already rising and 83s are already rising too, 1.2K, these are just going to go higher, right? you got the 85.5 refreshing today with more demand for the 83s, the 84s, and the 85s. And if you do have an air divisi toss pack dropping today as well, that could just mean more demand for those. So keep watching that fodder rise. It should just keep going up and it should be a pretty cheap SBC today. Now, also for these cards that we talked about, Tadic, Javi Simons, and Bergwijn specifically, if there is any panic selling on these cards today, either into the SBC or maybe after the SBC drops, these would be great cards to trade with because maybe people are thinking, oh my goodness, I'm going to pack Javi Simons or Tadic or Bergwijn because they're giving out a guaranteed Tots pack today. But in reality, we know what happens, right? These guys are not going to get packed that much. And people that are going to go and sell them in preparation for this SBC are going to go end up buying them back because they're probably not going to pack that card. So that's one thing to watch for with those three more rare cards that are a part of the team. Um, and then, of course, on the low tier, if Pavlidis, Kokchu, Geertruda and Kudus, if they drop too much more, guys, these are almost fodder prices already. Like, Kochu, I think, is the cheapest 89 at 25,000 coins. Um, I think Kudus, yeah, he's the cheapest 91. Him and Pavlidis are the cheapest 91 rated cards. Um, keep an eye on those. It might be a good time that if people are packing a bunch of these, they maybe sell the one they have in the club. Those cards may go down a little bit extra, could be good for a club stock, and just kind of to have those TOTS cards in your club for a potential rise later on down the line, or just as they go out of packs as high-rated fodder. So that's just one thing to think about there with some of those cards and that SBC coming today. I don't know if they would drop the community TOTS guarantee today. Usually in past years, they've spread them out. Like they get one on one day for the lower league, and then the next day they drop the uh, higher league, right? Or the, the main league, which is community team of the season this week. So, you know, a community TOTS SBC is definitely going to cost a bit more um, since you've got a lot more expensive cards in there. And especially this year, if you have Gabriel Jesus, 
who's a pretty expensive. You've got Coleman, you've got Rodrigo, which by the way, I tried this Rodrigo card out yesterday on stream. If any of you guys are in there, this guy is a beast, man. I'm so excited to try him out a little bit more if possible, but I got him for 1.5. He's every bit worth it that he is so, so good in game, especially with the skills. But besides the point, you've got a lot of expensive um, community tots cards that could be a part of this pack as well and it would definitely be more hype than an air divisi pack now last year the community tots pack was also pretty cheap um, albeit the team was probably a lot cheaper like we're mentioning but look what they required they required a tots player so it's kind of like hey they give you the air divisi pack first you get that tots player and then the next day you get a tots player and, and a, still an 84 rated squad which is very easy so again the 82s and the 83s and the 84s would definitely be where I would be watching the market in the coming days because, I mean, a TOTS player, which is like 88 and above, you put that in an 84 rated squad, it's really, really easy to do. But EA are going to start requiring these TOTS players as a part of these guaranteed TOTS SBCs, most likely. So when we're talking about the guaranteed SBCs, we think today, Air Divisi, tomorrow, Community, uh, and probably similar requir requirements to last year. So maybe if you haven't stock up on some 82s, 83s, 84s, I know they're going up. And if you want to, maybe a couple 85s. But those should be SBCs that are coming pretty soon. And of course, watch for panic selling on the guys that are in the main part of the team that are not going to get packed that much for a potential rebound there. So that should be hopefully coming today. Now, yesterday with the market, uh, with the content being a little bit kind of quieter than we thought, the market was really, really good for trading. I bought a Javi Simons at uh, 730,000 coins right around the content drop yesterday when it was just the player pick and the 85.5. Prices rebounded very, very well yesterday. Actually, if we take a look, at some graphs, take a look at some of these guys like Bergwijn, Geertruda. They're back down a little bit now, but since there's so much demand, at content 66K this guy was. He was 76K a couple hours beforehand, and these guys went roaring back as the content was quiet. Now they're back down a little bit, not a crazy amount, but like Javi Simons, who I sold at 817,000 coins, He's now back down here uh, below 770. So he's getting pretty low again. Some of the community tots cards have done the same thing. Kings of the Coman just fluctuates every single day. He's so good to trade with. I bought him last night at 515, sold him at 570. Oh, look, he was 550, 530. Boom, went back to 570 after content and is now 530 again. Am I going to buy this guy? Yeah, if I see 515, I'm going to buy him again. He just is so, so, such a good card to flip. Taran was like 320 yesterday. He was up as high as 360. Uh, Bernardo Silva is up. Who else was good to trade with yesterday? Alexis Sanchez is up a little bit. So keep an eye on some of these cards and even the rest of your out of packs market. Cards continue to fluctuate really well as um, there's just there's just a lot of hype to buy players in this, this game and for people to buy players for their teams. I do believe that some of that demand could start to fall off today, though, because we are kind of entering the end of the weekend league, right? If you think about it that way, the weekend league does end today. So I could see with a combination of a little bit of uh, maybe some leaks for the Premier League team of the season team that is upcoming. That's a very low Musiala. I'm going to let it sit for now, but it's very low. With the combination of leaks upcoming for Premier League Tots and the weekend league ending this morning and into today's content, if they do step it up and they drop a pretty big content day with a player SBC like an ASM, if the guaranteed Tots packs create any sort of movement or fluctuation, maybe some panic, if, if anything, I doubt much, but if a little bit, I just see some of that demand uh, maybe lessening a little bit today as the weekend league is kind of ending. And most people have probably finished up a predominant number of their games up until now anyways. So that's kind of what I would say with the market. Just be careful. Prices and trading still should be very, very good. As you can see, I've got like half of my coins right now in some flips with the Rodrigo, with the Martial that you saw there. I picked up Martial at 342 uh, on bid and he's almost like 380 at the moment. So that'd be a nice little quick flip. Um, I have a Mudrick here. I sold one earlier. So I'm just doing some quick flips here and there. But um, I'm going to be a little bit more careful with it today because I don't feel like the market will be as bouncy, if you will, with what is upcoming. Now, like we already saw, we saw a TOTS leak for the Ali Watkins last year on this day of Tuesday was the first day that we had some really big team of the season cards leaked from Premier League TOTS. There's been a couple like lists floating around. I don't know if you guys saw a couple tweets here and there about a Premier League TOTS team that was leaked. Guys, I, I have to say, I do not believe that is real. I believe that is a prediction that has just been mistaken for a leak. Uh, I believe it was a prediction on FIFA U Team's um, website, and I think people just automatically assume that was a leak, but I actually do not think that it is. So I don't think we have any true leaks for Premier League TOTS yet, 
um, wait for foot sheriff guys like fifa romania kind of those trusted leakers that are right more times than not to start posting some of those players before we truly start to say hey we actually have leaks for this upcoming team of the season squad that should be maybe starting today though so watch twitter because that could of course move prices on the market and speaking of the market as we're moving moving into premier league tots we're going to talk about this more this week as we start to see the leaks start to look at premier league players for you know investments for opportunities maybe players that haven't risen up that much or if you see like wow the two center backs that are, like if we get ruben diaz and saliba leaked as the center backs that are going to be in prem tots you're like hmm those are really expensive center backs what about guys like wesley fofana if he drops in price in the next couple of days with the france links and the chelsea links and just being a very good center back for the price that he is you know, that might be a card you want to watch if he were to drop lower. So start to maybe think about potential investments that you could make in the coming days with Premier League Tots upcoming and probably more people going out and buying cards for putting into Premier League squads. That's why I've started to add some of these cards to my watch list, not to buy right now necessarily by any means, but just to watch their prices, see where they fluctuate, see where they go and stuff like that. So watch out for that side of the market here pretty soon. There will be some movement there for sure. And there's still going to be plenty of price movements um, with the SBC players that are potentially coming as well. Like we looked at like Martinelli and Mudrick. Uh, but if the Allen St. Maxim and SBC were to drop here in the next couple of days, those cards would absolutely take a hit in price because this Allen St. Maxim would undoubtedly have a ton of hype on this game. So that's kind of everything that's going on in FIFA right now. And I wanted to kind of keep you guys up to date, of course, as we do every single day on this game. I know we talked a lot about the SBCs for the guaranteed tots, but those are so hype SBCs. People will be doing those today, uh, basically regardless. So I really just have questions about the Chukweze. I have questions about when we're going to get a player SBC. It feels like today would be a player SBC day, but who knows? We thought yesterday was going to be one as well. So all we know for today is that 85 plus is refreshing and we're hopefully getting our first uh, of the guaranteed tots SBCs today. So we're going to do it all on stream today per usual. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream link down below in the description. If you've never watched there, make sure you tune in. It's a blast and we'll have some fun making coins today. And of course, opening some player picks and packs, but also just seeing what content we get today on FIFA. If you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Food Account and see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.